morning and welcome to Radio Friends. This is Monday, July the uh, 2nd. We're just a couple of days away from the 4th of July. We're going to talk about 4th of July safety with fireworks and fire. And then about a fashion with compassion grab bag event. But let's start, first of all, with my friend Debbie Sorrell. Hi, Paul. It's nice to see you. Good to have you here, Debbie. Columbia Fire Department. And this is a... This topic is really very important to it you, is, and it should be important to all of us. It's a busy time of year because there's more fires on the 4th of July than any other day of the year. More fires? And on nationwide, the f yes. I thought it would be around Christmas time. Nope. More nope. fires on the 4th of July than any time of the year. Is That's that right. because of fireworks? It is. And because of people barbecuing? Uh, mainly fireworks. So three out of every five fires on Fourth of July will be for fireworks. Okay, and as dry as it's oh, been it's this so year. Oh, so dry, yeah. but it is. It is part of our fabric almost. We yeah, we fireworks. eat apple pie, we barbecue, and we shoot fireworks on Fourth yeah. of July. If you live in the city of Columbia, you or, cannot shoot fireworks. You can't. Can you shoot use the sparklers? No. Not even sparklers. No, you can't shoot. You can't use any consumer fireworks. Now sparklers. Let's talk about them real quick. So, what temperatures do, do what does water boil? Uh, about 212 degrees. Yeah. We cook cakes about 350, 350. degrees. Wood will burn 500 degrees. Okay, you're going to tell me how Sparklers, hot. 1,200 degrees. Let's give those to our kids and let them brand each other. They're extremely hot. They're terribly hot. So sparklers are not for use in the city? No, no. So we don't have stands. So you could get those, uh, those pop fireworks mm -hmm. that you throw on the sidewalk or pinch. And those could go off. You could get the poppers, but you can't buy sparklers or okay. anything like that. So we don't allow the selling or the firing. Now, what about if you live in the county? They, uh, there is not an ordinance that says that you can't buy consumer fireworks. So if you live in the county, you can. But my goodness, as dry as it has been this year. And humid, too. It's just it's everything is perfect for a large fire. And we know what's going on in neighboring you know, in Colorado, the, yeah, the state's yeah. on fire. Uh, I just our forests and and uh, farmlands and pastures. Just you know, you know something it. that bothers me, Debbie, and I see it all the time, especially on rural roads. People smoking a cigarette, uh -huh. driving by, and tossing that lighted cigarette out on the road. It's, it's all it so takes common. is one. I know it is, it's so but common. it is so ridiculous. You see it at the drive-throughs all the time, like so, like a drive-through restaurants. You know, fast food right. and stuff. But all it well, takes is one mulch. spark; it can start a fire. Yes. So terrible in a, in a forest setting, terrible on a rural setting, but also terrible in a fast food restaurant that's full of people. Yeah. That you could be. So what 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 is the one message you want to get across about? Uh, Fourth of July. Please, please use common sense. Have fun. Be safe. See your family. If you have to see fireworks, come downtown. We will be doing Fire in the Sky again this year. The city does it. They hire professional fireworks people to come in. So hopefully that kind of curbs the urge from everybody mm -hmm. else to to experience. And a lot of uh, a lot of towns uh, in and around our listening area all have their own municipal it, it, exactly, fireworks Exactly, exactly. Jefferson City has one. Many, many. And they're all wonderful to see your friends and your family. Just something alternative. Because emergency rooms, it's a busy time of year for them, too. Because yeah. of fireworks, because of the injuries. And the majority of the injuries from fireworks are little kids from 5 to 14 years old. Okay. You know? You seem like you're somewhat frustrated about it. I just, I think it's wasteful. When you have a little kid that doesn't have a finger anymore because he was playing with fireworks because it was okay. It's mm -hmm. not that dangerous. I think we should give them, they're so unpredictable, give them the respect that they deserve. These okay. are dangerous pieces of fire that flies around. All right, so watch the fireworks professionally on this 4th of July. And be careful safe. and have fun. All right, Debbie Sorrell, City of Columbia. Thank, thank you, you so much for having me. It's my pleasure, and you will come back again soon. Anytime, anytime. All right. Now, I want to introduce you to Lauren Strain, Hi. who is from Plato's Closet. And Lauren, you're here today, Plato's Closet, they're representing Heart of Missouri Casa. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're having a, a fashion with compassion grab bag. What is that? Um, basically, we're teaming up with uh, Heart of McCurry, sorry, Heart, Heart of Missouri Casa, Casa. Um, to donate the proceeds that we get off of this clearance event that we have. Mm -hmm. um, a customer can purchase a bag for fifteen dollars. Um, more donations are encouraged, of course, because it's uh, for going to a good cause. Um, and basically, they fill it up with as much clearance items as they can. 
Um, we donate it to CASA. Uh, we also give them discount in our store for regular price items and mm -hmm. coupons and raffle tickets and stuff like that to local businesses. Yeah. So how much money are you hoping that you will be able to donate to CASA? Um, as much as we possibly can. So when I asked you this before we went on, she goes, oh, a million dollars or more. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you got some pretty lofty goals there, lady. <laughs> yes, well, um, CASA's, you know, it works with children that come from abuse and neglect, and, and, and it just would be a great, it's a great cause, too. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. we encourage as much as we possibly can. Yeah, I, I know you're not directly involved with CASA, but uh, mm -hmm. obviously the fact that you're teaming up with them for this fundraiser, mm -hmm. it has to mean something to you. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, well, this is our third year doing this event, so we, uh, we, we love it. We think it's an awesome opportunity to you know we we love doing volunteer work as much as we can mm -hmm. and um it's i mean our obviously we're just a business and so it's kind of difficult like we can't do it all the time but when we can do something well like i this, think it's... what you're doing with this is wonderful mm -hmm. it's wonderful so people can can fill up a bag and they pay what? Uh, it's fifteen dollars. Fill up a bag, mm -hmm. cash or check, a and then you pay fifteen dollars and the profits there go to casa, casa. Mm -hmm. But if you want to make an extra donation, you say, well, here's my $15 for that bag, but I want to, how about if I throw in another 15 or 20 or $30 yes. for CASA? Yeah. All of that goes directly to CASA. Yes. There's nothing off the top there. It yes. all goes to CASA. All go to CASA. All right. Mm -hmm. the, the date and time here? Uh, it's Saturday, July 21st. Okay. Um, it's uh, almost all day event. It's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. So. And if people would like to have more information on this, can they contact uh, Plato's Closet, or they contact CASA? Both. Yes, it's okay. on, um, there's, you can go to CASA online or Facebook. Plato's Closet is on Facebook as well, um, or call the store, yeah. Okay, what's the number? 573-817-8100. Um, okay, for more information. So mark it on your calendar. It is Saturday, July the 21st. That's mm -hmm. about... Uh, what? A couple two, weeks, two, yeah. two, two weeks from now. Yes. All right. Thank Later you very the... much, Lauren. Thank you. Pleasure having you here. I, and I do hope you raise a million dollars more. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> do. And Debbie Sorrell, thank you for coming thank by. Thank you very okay. much. Have a great fourth. Yes. Uh, we're out of time for today. Joe Manhart, Missouri Egg Council, will be here tomorrow. She's going to talk about egg safety on the 4th of July. So we covered fire safety tomorrow, food safety. <laughs> Uh, our program directed by Travis McMillan, the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Danny Madison. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And if there is something that you would like to see or hear on this program, I would love to hear from you. Drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.